Hey guys, GOTLG fan here, and welcome back to another video. So today, I am going to be reading r slash stories about Kevin. This is honestly one of my favorite subreddits that I that I read. I made a, a video about it, but I never actually got around to making another, another video about this stupid Kevin's. First Kevin story we have here is... Don't do that, Kevin! Posted two days ago by the user Mick Tavish. We had a tree felling job some years back. It was a beautiful day and spirits were high. A small group of us were mucking in to get uh, to get the work completed by the end of the shift. As the clearance of a few rotted trees got underway, we were told specifically to be careful by uh, of the poison ivy. Many of us had stories about it, but many of us had experienced some of the side effects of our of the skin. So we all wanted to keep exposure to the plant minimum. I notice in my peripheral vision, Kevin Wills being lectured about the plant seemed confused, almost in another world. Crouched down in his familiar squat position, smoking his cigarette, he pipes up with the words, Poison Ivy doesn't affect me. I have, Celt I have Celtic genes. The crowd was used to Kevin's outbursts of maniac and randomness, so we didn't pay much attention to his most recent outburst. As lunchtime rolled around, he had continued with the declaration of his Celtic gene. Or is it Celtic? Is it Celtic or Celtic? Let me know in the, in the comments. As lunchtime rolled around, he had continued with the declaration of his Celtic or Celtic gene. Shield and to almost everyone again. And again, to the point where, where we were tired of Kevin's voice. He then declared that he needed to go to the bathroom for number two. And he said he would prove to everyone his immunity to this ivy wiping by wiping his backside with a deadly weed. Everyone said in no uncertain terms, Don't do that, Kevin! to the reply. But it's okay. I've told you that I have Celtic or self Celtic, I'll just say Celtic, genes. And we don't get affected by it. Kevin proceeded to take the dump, wipe his ass with a large handful of poison ivy. The effects were not instant. No one clearly rem remembered when we saw his face change. The gates start to lengthen and widen as inviting air to nether regions. The slight scratching and his face. At the end of the day rolled around, Kevin was in agony, exhibiting all the signs of a dog with manage restless and chubby in the fetal looks in his eyes. We made it home and dropped Kevster off with now poison ivy spreading to his face, and he had been scratching and spreading the cursed thing around. Kevin was not seen again for over a week. When he did manage to phone in, the boss inqu gently inquired about his Celtic genes to no reply. Oh, Kevin, don't do that. Uh, that was an amazing story, honestly. Now, I have encountered poison ivy before. Um, about four. Six or seven years ago, I I went camping with my family, and um, and I was catching a ball because my neighbors were camping with me. Shut up, man! My neighbors were camping with me, and I went what what I went to catch the ball, and and it like you know rolled off into a bush. That bush was poison ivy. So my this part of my arm, tut. I think that it was this part. I can't remember actually. This part of my arm touched the poison ivy and it stung for a little bit but it went away and i'm good now so yeah that's my story interrupted by a fucking bird second kevin story of the day one of my distant relatives is a kevin who thinks rona fake gov control us hello hello Th this is so this is a story about a distant relative relative of mine who i'll call kevin obviously so this Kevin is about 45 and has four children. I'm pretty sure he's a high school dropout. So at first, uh, at a first cousin's wedding in December last year, COVID cases were low at the time in, the, in my country, me and my other cousin, sister of the groom, were getting ready in her room alone since we both were groomswomen. I'm very close to this cousin of mine, despite the huge age difference. Also, keep in mind here during the wedding, a close family just says that just stays at the 
groom or bride, whichever side they're on, parents' house. My aunt had invited all of us to spend three days of the wedding with them. But I believe Kevin came in out of nowhere, as he forgot to book hotel rooms. So we were just doing our makeup, talking about her house job. I usually, a usually paid internship of one year of the doctors in my country have to do, is about to start, etc. Then enters Kevin. He comes in and sits down on a chair, and we kind of ignore him after greeting him once. And my cousin continues her rant about how her brother's wedding ends, and she has to go do her house job and start duty in the COVID ward. At this point, Kevin's ears shot up, and he asks us if we believe in COVID. Both of us said, yes, of course we do. This man then tried to tell us to about COVID about how COVID is fake and how doctors inject it in people themselves. He went on a rant about, <clears throat> even with even if it was real, real, this is God's curse and God's curse can't reach me. So obviously he has nothing to worry about. My cousin who was a doctor was baffled by this and told him that he, she has never and never and would never do something like this. He then told her, you're just a student. Now, now we'll see what happens when you start your house job. Doctors will do anything for some extra payment. Well then, we had to suffer him ranting about the COVID hoax for about 30 minutes. I still think about how this guy has four children. I feel bad for them and his wife too. What a moron. That is about it for this video. If you enjoyed to click or tap that like button and subscribe for more and follow me on my Instagram, uh, follow me on my Discord and Twitter, which are down in the description below. If you have any video ideas for me in the future, please don't forget to DM me on Twitter or Discord. I love you all to death, and don't forget to stay positive to the Pride Land's end. Bye!